what we're going to be doing tonight. I've got here a couple of pheasant legs and a pheasant crown. Better not leave this unattended. Dog's clearly sniffing. Let's have a closer look. A couple of pheasant legs, pheasant crown. They've been defrosting most of the day. So, first thing I want to do really, some rapeseed oil here. It's a uh, a local one, whites of old Cantley, extra virgin rapeseed oil, cracked like pepper. Get that in there. Just oil bottom of the pan. And then I'll pop a bit on here actually. Get a bit of that in there. <coughs> then for seasoning, my usual. Sea salt, black peppercorn, as you know I like plenty of pepper, some thyme, I can't use quite as much as what I did in the last video. Some rosemary. A pot dog away. Because if you up at this, first thing I want to do is I'm going to rub this in and massage it in, get some oil all over. Preheating oven, it's on 200. Been on about five minutes, so that'll be nice and warm when I do put these in. Put plenty of oil on them. So now that they're seasoned, I've got here some black pudding. So, make a couple of incisions in crown. I'm going to stuff it with black pudding. Let's get in. Can't be a bit of black pudding. Perfect. Probably only need two, two rounds of this. So let's find that breastbone. Cut straight down. All I want to do is want to follow it as close down as I can. Make a nice clean incision. I don't want to go all the way through. bone a little bit, fill it open. Yep. All you're essentially doing is just making a couple of pockets. As you can see, it's opened up lovely. Just like that. Then we get this, break it up, get a bit messy, stuff that in. Same on this side. Break up roughly, then I'll squash it in. Smells lovely. Squash 
wash that yeah, all the way in into that cavity. Same with this. Come on that side of it, get a bit of pressure on it. As you can see, I've stuffed that in. It's been seasoned. It's got that rapeseed oil running all over meat. He's stuffed with black pudding. I need to just skewer that together, hold it in place, and I'm ready for the next stage. I've got my skewer. I'm sure, there's no bits of wood. So, I need to do just fold that back up. In fact, get a bit more pudding in there. side up, squash that down, try and keep it all in there. Skewer through one side. Just manipulate it. Pretty good. So I've white puddings on cavity at crown. I've skewered it without skewer. It's holding it together well. Now it's for time for it to go into roasting tray. I'm gonna use some dripping to keep it moist, get some flavour, instead of wrapping it in bacon it'll do the same thing I'll be tin foil over the top in the oven about half an hour, 45 minutes, let it rest it should be ready to eat so what I want to do now is I want to just transfer this into this roasting tray so I'll get a leg first I'll run it around this soil base bottom of this dish stop anything from sticking. That's one leg. Two legs. And pick crown up as it is. Pop it in there like that. Move that away a little bit. It's looking well. Just need some tin foil over the top. Some dripping first, so I'll do that while I'm thinking on. Off. Perfect. I want to do that. Just want to rub it in a little bit. Don't wrong with massaging your bird. A pork dripping should have some lovely flavour. Stop it from drying out. Need quite as much on legs, so I'll try and get some on. Crown a bird, get some on cavity. Tin foil, ready for oven. Because I love white pudding, what I'm going to do stick these two rounds that are left. I'm just going to pop them in there like that. So, the extra rounds of black pudding are in. Dripping spread over meat. All seasoned, all stuffed. Tin foil over the top, in the oven, half an hour, 45 minutes. Let it rest for 5 10 minutes. It should be lovely and delicious. That's the oven. 
bit of smoke coming out of there, I've moved them trays out I think, and we're on about 150. Let's get our while, let's come back to it, let's see how it looks. So this is about 40 minutes later. As you can see, looks like it's cooked to perfection. Just need to get it plated up and enjoy my tea. And there we go, the finished article. That means it just looks like it's going to fall away from bone. Time to get tucked in. That's the uh, pheasant crown cracked open. Exposing it inside the breast meat. And you can see black pudding. Looks delish. Let's get tucked in. <laughs> 